Okay, so here I am, a capitalist observer, calling into the Alan Combs show. I was driving home from Raleigh from the airport and got really bored and decided to call in. I'd never called into a radio show before, so this is actually kind of embarrassing. I got kind of flustered. I talked too fast, got a little a bit excitable, and uh, just to set up the clip here, I start by uh, referring to the last caller who started talking about how um, why don't we just have all the uh, give all the um, government handouts to the poor people because they're the ones who actually spend the money as opposed to rich who just hoard it, as Alan will say. So here you go. Um, I'd like to first respond to that last caller. I, ha I had something else to talk about, but uh, first of all, rich people have money. They're going to spend it too. Are you under the impression that only poor people spend No, they'll money? spend it, but uh, you know, they'll probably hoard it to some extent too. No, they'll either save it in, a, in an investment account, which means that they're going to be growing the economy. Anyways, that's not what I called to talk about. What I called to talk about was the entitlement program. Now, I'm a conservative, but I respect you. I think that you're intelligent. I think that you're smart. Really short on time. Got to get to your point. Go ahead. Okay. The entitlement programs, okay. Now, I, I care about everybody. I want everybody to be well off. Uh, I got it. What's is, your point? But the thing is, um, we are spending two-thirds of, of the federal budget on entitlements, okay? Now, you, earlier you said that we I don't know where you're getting that first. figure from. I don't know yeah, what you're we calling were entitlement. Medicare, we're spending a lot more money on the military. You're talking about non-discretionary spending? Yeah, exactly. I'm talking about the Medicare. I'm talking about the Social Security. I'm talking about the Medicaid. I'm talking about welfare. It's, it's all – okay, now, I don't want to argue with that. What I want to talk to you about is how dependency is the worst thing that you can do for a poor person. And I don't – and I believe no one's, you have – No one's selling dependency. When, when you have an uh, environment in the United States where you have so many people dependent on the government for their no, social no one security, is lo you're, you're, Medicare, again, you're, you're, right, you're singing from the uh, right-wing songbook and stereotyping liberals who just want to make people dependent. That is not no, what Barack Obama's I believe, policy is. I, I don't believe you want to make people uh, um, dependent because I believe that you have good intentions. I believe that your logic is incorrect. How is that? Because... When you give somebody something, it's like if you give them a fish, you feed them. Well, for who's a day, giving anybody anything? Fish. What are you talking about? Well, when you, I'm talking about when you sign up, when when you get Social Security, when you get your Medicare. Oh, do so you want to do away with Social Security? And are you going to criticize me for being uncaring because I yes. want to create a because I want to create an environment where there is an environment of of non dependency? Well, you want to do away with Social Security. Okay, the reason I want to get rid of Social Security is because it creates dependency. dependency All right, well, you're going to have a little hard time selling that one. And by the way, had we privatized it like I, McCain wanted to do and like Bush wanted to do, we'd be, we'd be disastrous look, right now. I, I don't care if I sound like I'm, I, if it'll never work. I'm, ta I'm talking about the truth here, and dependency right. is what creates All right, I got you. i got to take a break, sir. I'm sorry. We've got to come back with Radio Graffiti, one sentence only. Uh, we have to train people to get to their points really quickly. Uh, come back with uh, one sentence, one sentence only. Everybody gets on a one sentence form, unscreened for content at 877 367 2526. Well, that was fun. Uh, I did have a fun time talking to him. You can really tell who's the seasoned radio and TV personality and who's just the regular Joe. But, um, you know, one of the things that, you know, amused me was that he said that. Social Security would be a disaster right now if it was privatized because of all the downturn in the stock, the stock market. And that's not true because, first of all, anybody who is for privatizing Social Security is for giving people the option to take control of their own money. Oh my gosh, that's so radical. You know, that's all it would be is people have the option of taking control of their own money that they're paying into Social Security, not forcing everybody to do it. Anybody who doesn't want to take part in the privatization doesn't have to. It's just about choice. Why can't liberals just let people choose what they want to do with their life?